Alrighty, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And let me go ahead and uh, preface this by saying this this might be a pretty messed up cast right here. Um, just I just kind of kind of slop bang through some stuff together. I don't know how well it's gonna work out. So if, again, if you um, if you hear me getting mad about some of the mistakes I made, don't don't be too surprised. Like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of prep work on this. So, anyway, for the music, um, this is going to be, as it shows here, it's going to be a Paleo Wolf, their archetypal album. So, go ahead and get that going. And, um, let me, uh, let me double do a sound check on this first. All right. So, close enough. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta do this a little bit earlier because of all the animation. So this is gonna really jack up the file size. So, um, anyway, if most for the most part, this is a pretty, this is a pretty screwed up day. Um, I I had to do an earlier, a way earlier than normal stream. Um, I think I did it at 11:30 a.m. Um, I laid down around six. But um, and I, I, I think um, either A, I made the mistake of eating too much oatmeal, or uh, B, I started adding up. Uh, this innocuous as this might sound, um, I might have added too much uh, cinnamon sugar, and or pancake syrup. This is something I like, I like to eat, like about an hour or so before I have to lay down. Um, but it, some combination of those. Um, I ended up waking up like an hour or two later and just, <laughs> you know, just like massive heartburn. So, uh, so yeah, I took a, I took an antacid or two and I had to sit up for like an hour or so. Um, tried laying back down, uh, once my, um, uh, once my heartburn subsided. Um, but, um, even, even then, um, laying back down, I think. About one or two hours in, um, I'll I'll try to explain the nightmare as best I can. Usually, if I get this particular nightmare, it uh, means something. Either something bad has happened or it's going to happen. Um, I call it. I call it the Eternal Cemetery nightmare. It's a rec it's a recurring one. Like I said, either either something bad is happening. Something bad's happening, or something bad's going to happen. Like I said, I'll try to explain as best I can. It it makes sense in my head, but it's very hard to put into words. Um, walking into the cemetery, and then all of a sudden, the moment I do that, it's it's kind of like the Dark World in um, Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. I'm seeing uh, basically dead spirits of uh, people who once lived, who lived around the cemetery area, and I have to, I have to avoid making contact with them, otherwise I die too. I, I think that's what the nightmare is trying to tell me. But um, I seemingly only have three lives or something. I get too, I get too close to one of these spirits. That spirit. It'll turn around and talk to me, and then after the after the brief conversation, it seems like I lost a life. I do this like three times. All of a sudden, <laughs> you know, I end up waking up. So it's pretty messed up, though. But yeah, but I think um, I think this all happened around probably around 9:30 a.m. Try to lay back down. Uh, basically tossed and turned for about hour and a half, two hours. Couldn't get any sleep going. Just mostly because of that. Um, so I just rolled out of bed, said, fuck it. Might as well make myself useful since I can't get back to sleep. Um, started my stream around 1130. 
11.30 a.m., did some Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, in that, I finally completed story mode. Just kind of got lucky there. Um, I'm at a I'm at a point where the computer where the uh, computer AI, at least in my mind, cheats a lot. Like, oh, uh, it it'll. If you ever hear me, if you ever catch me on stream and you hear me say "button read," that's what happened. The very moment I push a button, the the AI. Response immediately after, like the moment I push a button down, I'll get um, countered. And then um, it also does like, or in my mind, it does like impossible shit. Like, like it'll um, the very moment it hits you with a little really quick jabby attack, all of a sudden, the very moment it does that, it it launches into like a massive super attack and nuclear explosions happen, you know that kind of thing. I mean. Stuff that I, I think would be impossible for a human being to do. Like, even the top players don't have reflexes that quick. Or their execution skills aren't that great. So, it's a cheating AI. So, but eventually, I ended up beating story mode. Um, and now there's hard mode. So, I'll probably just start working on that. Or maybe even... Start doing some online matches against actual people. Oh, hold on, let me up. Uh, I gotta take a drink here. Uh, Arizona green tea. But yeah, so I'll... Yeah, so either I'll keep going on uh, doing the hard mode, part of story mode, or I'll probably just start doing some actual online matches because again, with the with all with all the cheating shit that the uh, the computer AI is doing, I can't imagine even even fighting a top pro isn't gonna isn't gonna be a uh, quite the uphill battle as fighting these computer AI players is. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention too. Um, so I did that for like a couple, two, two and a half hours. What I was gonna do is I was gonna do that, take a one-hour nap, and then come on back and keep streaming. <laughs> Didn't happen that way. Um, took my one-hour nap, alarm went off, shut it off, and then <sighs> just went right back to sleep. So. Um, ended up, ended up sleeping for like two hours. Oh, I just got rolled out of bed, looked at the time, it was like 5 p.m., like, fuck, you know. Um, uh, but, uh, I think, um, I set my, I laid down around 2 p.m., was meaning to wake up around 3 p.m. and, you know, starting to stream back up. But, no, I, I ended up waking back up again at 5 p.m. Like, shit, up too late now, so, surely they'll understand. Um, but otherwise, I'm trying to think. For the most part, just lazed around and but but that was until on my YouTube recommendations came a documentary about um about a girl named Mom, Sister Rosetta Tharp. Pretty good stuff. I mean, all this time I thought uh you know I thought Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, I think Chuck Berry were the original, were the original, uh, rock and roll musician, musicians. Nope. Was totally proven wrong by this documentary. Um, she's a, she's a black Christian. Um, a black Christian, and I think if I understood the documentary correctly, she's also bisexual. And she was, um. Uh, she was also one of the uh, original rock stars. Like, uh, despite the fact that she's a Christian, um, I think, uh, again, if I understood the documentary correctly, she's had numerous affairs while on tour with both men and women. So, like I said, to me, she's like the original rock star. And yeah, she, but she's also a devout Christian. I mean, is hypocritical as it might sound um I believe Tom Waits was talking about the same thing too 
um, be before he went on tour, he was never an alcoholic. He didn't become an alcoholic until he started touring. He, he, he said something like, "You're you're introduced you're introduced to a system that's been in place long before you. It's it's unavoidable. I mean, you know, and resistance is for the most part futile." You're going to get caught up in the sex, drugs, and alcohol and all that. I mean, unless you have, like, unless you have, like, extreme willpower, like Henry Rollins or maybe even David Goggins, if you're a musician. But otherwise, the rest of the world, you're going to get caught up in it. You know, just like Sister Rosetta did. But, oh, wait, let me rephrase that. She wasn't, I mean, she wasn't drinking, smoking, or doing any drugs or anything. I mean, she was still a Christian, but... I mean, she, but she was still hooking up, though. Like I said, she's, if I understood the doc correctly, she, she's a bisexual. She's having all kinds of affairs with men and women while on tour. And I think, um, on two occasions she was married. Yeah, I think on uh, two occasions she was married. But anyway, um, um, both of them, no, one of, the first one didn't work out, I think it was just, um, oh, I'm trying to think, it, he just, I don't, I think it was because he couldn't care for, he didn't care for our lifestyle, the second one actually lasted 22 years, because, um, her second husband was a moocher, but he was a smart moocher, for lack of a better phrase, it was a symbiotic relationship. He was all he was also her manager, but he really sucked at his job. Like I said, he was just he was just trying to exploit her talent. But he was all he was also smart about it. I mean again, they were they stayed married for twenty two years. So it wasn't no he wasn't just bleeding her dry and then you no know, leading her to leading her to divorce him and then ditching him and leaving him with nothing, that kind of thing. Like I said, he was he was one of those smart moochers. Like he didn't Oh well oh god. I think it was one of Asip's fables about the goose that laid the golden eggs. I think how the how the story went. Like the the goose would lay like one golden egg a month or something like that, but the guy got too greedy and ended up uh Ended up gutting the golden goose to get all the golden eggs at once or something like that, but he ended up getting nothing. Or something like that. But yeah, that's that's how this guy was. He didn't he didn't gut the golden goose. I mean, he was very content to take her a uh, golden egg that she laid every month or whatever it was. But you, you kinda get the idea. So Uh, but anyway, I also forgot to mention, um, I watched, uh, I think it was episode 31 of, uh, Dragon Ball, so I think I watched, like, half of that, um, oh, I, there's a, this, there's a certain way I gotta say this. I want to show, I mean, I really want to show gratitude. Oh, God. But, um, I'll just say, I'll just say I, um, I got access to, uh, Dragon Ball Z, like, the first season. But it's gonna, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, say it was, uh, probably by dubious means... I don't really want to go into detail here, but um, like I said, I um, I procured um, season one of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I don't, 
I'm not sure if it's the, um, I'm not sure if it's the, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's the uncensored version. Um, I think I watched, uh, episode two. There's, like, a little, blade, a little bit of blood. Um, and you can see, um, there's parts of this episode where you can see Goku is dangling. So I'm thinking it's the uncensored. Um, according to this video that I watched yesterday about all the censors, about all the censorship they did to the, to the show, I thought they said they, uh, got rid of the genitals. And they also got rid of the blood. But again, I... There were uh, parts in there where they were showing Go um, baby Goku's uh, genitalia. So I'm thinking it's the uncensored. I might be wrong. So it, 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 at, at, any, at any rate, um, I got... So I got spared the... So censored or not, I got spared the 100 bucks required to get this. So, but I, again, I, I just felt the need to get that out there. <sighs> Jake, please forgive me for what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and say the cat's out of the bag but any um basically what happened is uh he uh he gave me his uh a, one of my um uh, one of my regulars uh jake ryan he gave me um uh, it was a it was a website that he doesn't really go on anymore uh he gave me his um uh, think he gave me his uh username and password but again, he said he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't use his website anymore. I can't remember the name of it. He doesn't use it anymore, so he just gave the uh, credentials to me. So, if if this get if this gets him if this gets him in trouble, I'm sorry. But like I said, it just it's it it's something that I don't want to take with me to the grave. If this makes any sense at all. So, but I didn't. I. I didn't want to sound flippant when I said it, like, Oh, well, I got, huh, I got a season one of Dragon Ball Z. You know, this guy gave me his name and password and everything. Whoopee! You know, I didn't, I didn't want to, I figured uh, he might have, I figured he might have gotten in serious trouble for it. But again, now that I, now that I said it, eventually questions are going to start getting asked. Well, how did you get it? So I just want to be open and transparent about it. So again, if he gets in trouble, apologies. But it's, and I, I don't want to. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and stop at that. So, but, but anyway, that was um, anyway, that was pretty much all I wanted to say this morning. Um, oh, oh, one more thing too. Actually, I probably would have had a little more on this cast, but um. When watching that, uh, that was something. Um, I, I might still have it. Nope. So I'll have to retrieve it. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to pull it back up. Yeah, um, like I said, I probably would have had a little more on this cast, but I'm not going to go into detail on this. But yeah, kind of a, this is kind of a sensitive topic for me. I mean, it's, to be sure, it's a dead horse issue. I mean, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for five years now. Or hell, I've been playing, um, hang on, I'm calculating right now. I've been playing MMO since the mid-2000s. So, um, been playing, uh, been playing WoW for, or, oh, hang on, let me rewind. Been playing MMOs 
since the mid 2000s. So, a fairly common issue. You pull it, you tank it. Um, this forum came up as a. I haven't done commentary on this in a long time. I went ahead and went ahead and did did a video of this. So, so did that for a while. Took a while to upload and process, etc. But like I said, otherwise, if not for that, I probably would have had some more on this. So, let me go ahead and kill that. Okay, but, but, it, okay, no, that's definitely the cast. So, but, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but, until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.